Hi friends, welcome to episode 4 of my PHP tutorial. Um, we're going to get rid of all this code. Uh, so I can show you, what are we doing today? Looping. We're doing looping. Um, so let's get an array. Um, a lot of times looping happens around arrays. Let's the variable R. And then we'll just put a bunch of random letters in here. Um, and do whatever spacing is, is comfortable for you. It doesn't matter. I'm sure there's a standard, but if it's just for your website, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't affect the way the code runs, so it's really just for the comfort of other people reading it. Um, but we'll get into that. That's a very end stage thing to worry about. Alright, so we have an, ar an array. It's a simple array. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and those are the keys. So when you have an array, you can use the for each loop. Um, for each one word. So we'll do it like this. And So inside the for each, you say for each r. So for each array, this array, as key value. And then here you just specify whatever variables you want. Um, remember on the when it showed you the array, and this is this would be so this will be zero and this will be VUM on the first round through. Um, so that just allows you to assign a variable to to, uh, to one of the values in the array. Um, so we'll say for, and this'll, this for each loop does, says for every item in this array, do the following code in between these spider braces. So this code will get executed five times. So echo value and line break. So this is very, very simple for each loop. Um, also, you know, just because it has one line, you don't need to put the, the spider braces in, but we'll do it for effect. So this is going to run through this array five times. and pull out uh, the value because we set key as value you can you know you can do whatever you want you could you could call this but and cheeks but and then you would just change this to I usually use key value just so I know what I'm doing but you know you can use anything so we'll upload that and I'll show you what that looks like so there's our code that gets echoed, all five lines. You know, if this was a thousand lines, it'd echo a thousand lines. Um, you can do more than one thing here. Um, so, you know, and, and these variables get reset every, every time through the loop. So you can say cheeks equals cheeks and extra text. So this basically says when you have a variable equals a variable and it just means append this text onto the end of the variable. Um, so now this text will get appended onto the end of each of these. Um, you know, There's all kinds of complex things you can do, functions that you can do to manipulate strings which we'll get into later but um, this is just kind of a crude example, crude in multiple meanings. Um, so that shows you what, what happens there. Um, so we'll show you one other kind of loop. If you, you know, This is the best way to get through arrays, uh, in my opinion. Um, uh, if you have an array, well, I guess 
If you have an array full of arrays, you can just use one uh, one variable, and then this comes to represent the array in there, but um, you don't need to worry about that right now. So let's say we don't have an array, but we still want to do a loop. Uh, this is how you do it. You set up a variable equals zero. Um, and then we'll just use a regular for loop. Not a for each. So we say for i equals zero semicolon. Uh, this is kind of a weird syntax. Um, uh, so this basically initializes i equals zero. So you need to put three things in here. First is i equals zero, i is less than or equal to 10, and i plus plus. That's what goes inside your four. Um, so this is a little weird. It's kind of different than than a regular. You know, if it's a regular function, these would be strings or numbers. But um, you know, four is a special exception because it's a conditional. So this is the first part. I equals zero. This is just a you know a duplicate of this. Um, I like to declare it first just so I I know what's going on. But you don't have to. Um, the second part says when the loop will happen. So as long as i is less than or equal to 10, then it's going to keep going through again and again and again. And this says every time we run through a loop, add 1 on to i. So the first time through, i equals 0, then it goes, it gets, you know, once it goes through, it goes 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. So just to give you an idea, and I indent here just, just to keep things neat. Um, it's helpful when you have a huge amount of conditionals all over the place. Um, just keeps things neat. Uh, so for i equals i equals i plus plus. So if I got this right and I didn't mix this sign up, which I tend to do sometimes, then this will echo 0 through 10 down the line. And let's put a line break in here just to make it easier to read. And then it'll stop once it gets to 10 because it will be greater than or um, equal to, to 10. So I'll upload this, fresh, and there you go. So if you want to do something Technically, this is 11 times because we started on zero. Always remember that. Um, but you can, if you want to do something 10 times or 100 times or whatever, this is how you you loop it through the code. Um, so, if you just wanted to echo bacon 100 times, you say as long as this is less than or equal to 99, because you know, remember, you're always gotta add one. Um, so this, will, this basically says, do this command a hundred times. And that looks like... So that can really save you some say, space in your HTML code, obviously. So rather than, <laughs> rather than have to type bacon out a hundred times, you just do this little snippet. Um, there's also while loops and do loops, but um, I don't really use those. I don't think they're unnecessary once you have the for each and the for. I think these are the, the better way to do it. Um, so I'm not going to teach those to you guys because I don't like them and I don't think you need them. I get along just fine without them. Um, so thanks for watching and hope you tune in for the next episode. Thanks.